In this video, we're going to take a look at cumulative frequency. Now, when we're working with data that's given as a grouped frequency table, then we're unable to find the exact values for the median and quartiles. However, what we can do is use a cumulative frequency diagram to find estimates. So for the median here, let's just write this down at the top. For the median, which we can also call Q2. And what we do here is find the n over 2 value. Okay. If we had 40 values for our data, then the median would be the 20th value. Okay. So what about now for the lower quartile and upper quartile? Well, you might be familiar with this already. So let's just write this down as well. So for the lower quartile, So for the lower quartile here, which we can call Q1, and we'd find the n over 4 value. So find the n over 4 value. Okay. So if we had, say, 20 values in our data, then the lower quartile here would be the fifth value. We'd do 20 divided by 4, and that would be the fifth value. Okay. And then finally here for the upper quartile, again, we'll just write this down here. So for the upper quartile, which we can call Q3. And what we do here is we'd find the 3n over 4 value. So find the 3n over 4 value. So again, if we have 20 values in our data set, then the upper quartile here would be 3n, so that would be 3 times 20, divide that by 4, that would be the 15th value, okay? So how do we now read this from a cumulative frequency diagram? Well, if we just do a quick sketch here, won't be anything perfect, but just so we can illustrate this idea. Let's say these are my axes here, then my diagram might look, say, something like this okay so up here this would be our last data point so let's say we've got 20 data points here so this would be 20 then the median here that would be 20 over 2 so that would be the 10th value so that would be 10 here okay halfway along so to find the median then from our diagram we go along here from the y-axis so we go along here like so until we touch our curve then we go down from our curve here we read off here along the x-axis. Okay, so that would be Q2. So that's Q2. We do the same here for the lower quartile and upper quartile. So for Q1 then, like we said, we find the n over 4 value. If we've got 20 values, that's going to be 20 over 4. That would be 5. Let's say that's there, for example. And again, all we do here is we go from the y-axis here, reading along like so, and go down from that point on the curve. That would be Q1. And then we'd repeat this again here for the upper quartile. So we'd find the 3n over 4 value. So that would be 3 times 20. That would give us 60. Divide that by 4. So we'd get the 15 value here. And again, we'd just read that from our diagram. We go across here. Like so. So we touch the curve. And then go down. Okay. And this point here would be Q3. Okay. And remember then, if you want the interquartile range here, so the IQR, that is going to be Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so this region here gives us, a, gives us the IQR. Okay. So that brings the end of this video then on cumulative frequency. Like I said, there's not too much detail to this. It is mainly just recapping um, GCSE material. Okay. But there we have it. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at histograms.